George Wellman, I got, uh, uh, well, first of all, how much is that rocket ship you drove in if you, you know want what? to buy it? Uh, they did not disclose pricing. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I have a feeling it's going to be a rather expensive car because of the way they've engineered it. Wow. And you know what? It's going to be worth it. Um, let me ask you a serious question uh, that might consider some thought, though. That dreadful accident on US-23 northbound where the uh, Toyota Prius swerved across the median and smashed into the uh, oncoming SUV. Is it possible that that was one of those acceleration deals with the Toyota vehicle? Because we don't really know why would that car swerve through the bank all the way to the other side. Well, I don't know if it, if it was, but I do know this, that, and this is something I picked up yesterday down at the Proving Grounds, mm -hmm. is that Toyota, apparently, their black boxes were encrypted. And part of the problem in, in getting the information back to the federal government was there was only one encrypted, uh, encryption machine to read those in the United States. Now, that's changed, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a point where Toyota may have to just go to standard you know, language so that, that law enforcement or whoever can, can uh, decipher what's going on with the, the, the vehicles. The, the, the sad part is, is this, is General Motors developed um, barriers that were specifically, when you see those concrete barriers, they were specifically designed to, for a car to hit them and be pushed back into the lane yeah. of traffic. That's exactly how they were engineered, the concave and the little lift mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know what? 23 didn't have them. And mm -hmm. you've got a super highway, because they're all super highways, yeah. the way people drive in, in Michigan, yeah. and yet that was probably more the issue, I think, because there are going to be tragedies. People are going to make mistakes. I would imagine this was just a mistake. But to go all the way across the median like that, now they're talking about building a wire fence or something like that in that spot uh, that would stretch for miles and miles and right. miles. Well, uh, it's it's so uh, desperately sad. I was thinking about it all day yesterday and uh, and and Sunday because I passed through there when that accident was going, right. you know, when it was going on. And so I just wonder because it was a Prius if maybe we'll find out that it was one of those unintended acceleration situations. Yeah, let's let's hope that's not the case because that may start an entire new wave, you know. But if it is, then guess what? We need to we need to get to the bottom of it. George Volman, the Automotive Insider, will be with us later, too, for our mid-Michigan business wrap from 9 till 10 and then from 6 till 7 tonight in the Lansing area. Senators, thank you very much hey, for the hey, time. Hey, great seeing you this morning, Michael. 20 days till the general I election. Know,